Welcome to this short video. This is just to give you some hints and tips on how to draw a five-pointed star for tutorial one in OpenGL. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, draw a circle. Like so, not too bad. Okay, and inside the circle is I'm going to draw my star and then we're going to have a look at it. Okay, not bad. Okay, so one of the properties of a five-pointed star is the fact that if I put the center in here and we then look at this angle, we will find that in fact this is the same angle all the way along. So if I'll do this one, okay, I have one angle the green line, another angle the red line, and then another the blue line. So this is the angle subtended by these two points. This is the angle subtended by so this red. These two points that the green, the red, the blue, and the other two here and here are the same angle. Okay, so the number of degrees around a circle is 360 degrees. And if we count the angles here, I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so each of these angles is 72 degrees. Okay, so that tells me something about the properties of this five pointed star. Um, and so what we need to do now is, um, for the purposes of OpenGL, we need to be able to plot this star. And to do so, what we really need is the value of these points around the circle, because then we can start working out how to draw it. So if we look at these five points, then ideally we need to know what they are, their values, and because we're in OpenGL, we're on a, a Cartesian coordinate system, so therefore we need X and we need Y for each of these points. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, or one of the ways, there's actually several approaches to this, but a reasonably easy way is to do what is really a polar to Cartesian um, conversion, because we know everything about the polar coordinates of this particular problem, but we don't know anything about the Cartesian coordinates. And that is much more, for OpenGL, we need the Cartesian coordinates. So what we're going to do is, um, we are going to work out what these are. To do that, I'm just gonna put this radius in. I'll do it here. Okay, so that's R, which is a radius. So when we come to draw this thing, this will you'll be able to specify this radius and it will draw it from the center when it's finally working. So we need this X and we need this Y. So what we've got to know is we have to realize what the, work out what the conversion is. Um, so I'm just gonna give you this. So X equals R cos theta, Y equals R sine theta. Okay, theta is this angle here. So if we're working out the first point here, then what we need to do is simply apply cos 72 degrees, whatever your value of r happens to be. Um, this will depend on uh, your coordinate system. Or it can be arbitrary. You could define r be equal to always be equal to 0.1 um, or equal to 1. It really doesn't matter because in OpenGL you'll find that you can scale things. Um, so often if you import a model um, it's based around the coordinates 1, 1, 1 in three dimensions and to um, make this a bigger model or a smaller model depending on, on, your, on your world space uh, you can simply scale it. So arbitrarily then you can just for example the simplest case is to make r equal to 1. Okay I put 1.0 because it will definitely be a floating point type in the end. 
So that's just some hints at how you'll go about doing that. Now, I've not talked about uh, whether this works all the way around the, the circle, and you might have to look at what's known as a cast rule, um, but this is certainly a useful way of solving this. And so you need simply to change the angle as you're going around the circle and apply these, these two equations to work out x and y. When you have those values, okay, then you simply need to construct a function and you might call it draw star if you want it might take an argument the argument might be something like the radius um, maybe the color it may do something like this and okay we'll probably avoid and then you just need to use um, to create the vertices uh, exactly like this is done in the draw function of tutorial one uh, create the list of vertices that you want to draw um, which correspond to these. Now, the other thing, a little hint that you need to know is clearly um, we're not drawing a polygon here and if you attempt to draw a polygon it almost certainly won't work, you'll get some odd shape because in this case we're interested in drawing lines. Um, so instead of having GL polygon, GL begin, okay, instead of polygon you'll have Sorry, G L lines. Okay, and then carry on as you did before, and don't forget to put the G L end in. Um, so I think if you um, have a go at this, um, you should find a solution uh, to this, and um, we'll let you know um, how we did this and give you some code for this uh, next time we see you in the next tutorial. Okay, thank you.